G'day there, I'm Jesse Crow, the Traveling Scientist, and today I'm going to show you how you can improve your memory every day in under four minutes. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you a picture for 10 seconds, and I'm going to test you on this at the end of the video. So take a look and try and memorize as many details as you can. What items do you see, the numbers, the colors, etc. Take in as much information as you can, pause the video if you want a few more seconds. Did you memorize all that? Awesome. There's our test timer down there, and while that's going down, I want to explain to you how memory works, what you can do to help improve your memory, and finally, I'm going to explain how you can use this technique we're doing right now to improve your memory every single day. Memory formation occurs in the hippocampus. This is the learning center of the brain. When you get a sensory input, you hear, smell, taste, see, or touch something, a neuronal connection forms in your brain. This is a sensory memory and it'll disappear after a few seconds unless you give it attention, which will cause the neuronal connection to keep firing and become a short-term memory. And this might last for a minute or two, but to transform it into a long-term memory that can last for days, weeks, months, or even years, you need to encode it. Encoding a memory is basically strengthening a neuronal connection so that it becomes stronger and more memorable rather than shrinking away and being forgotten. And there are a few different ways you can encode your memories. If you want to remember a name of something, for example, the traveling scientist, you can write it down on a piece of paper or on your phone, or you can repeat it to yourself. The traveling scientist, the traveling scientist, the traveling scientist. Or you can visualize it, try imagining it in a funny or interesting way. There are also mnemonics, memory palaces, and other in-depth ways of remembering a large number of things. But we don't have time for that today, guys. We've only got four minutes. Let's keep going. So there are six main things that you can be working on every day to improve your overall memory. Exercise boosts your mood, reduces stress, and improves sleep, all of which are gonna promote memory formation and retention. Meditation. Research has proven that meditation in students reduces their stress and helps strengthen their hippocampus, allowing them to do better in exams and remember more. Sleep. Your hippocampus replays memories in your sleep, helping to consolidate them into long-term memories. Drugs. That is, avoid drugs, especially depressants like weed and alcohol, which suppress the hippocampus, reducing your ability to form and retain memories. Supplements like ginkgo biloba or omega-3 promote brain health and function, boosting your ability to learn and remember things. And learning. The hippocampus is the center for memory and learning in your brain. So if you're learning a new skill like playing an instrument or a new language, you're exercising your hippocampus and your ability to learn and remember things. Anyway guys, now you know how memory works, it's test time. I'm gonna ask you six questions about that picture that I showed you at the top of the video, and you can get up to six points if you answer every question correctly. How many bananas did you see? How many oranges did you see? How many apples did you see? What color was the leash? What animal did you see? And what other item was on the table? As you can see, there's four bananas, three oranges, two apples, the leash is red, the animal on the cup is a cat, and the other item is a pair of sunglasses. If you got three or less, that's okay, maybe you just need some more practice. If you got four or five, that's pretty good. And if you got all six correct, that's awesome. But regardless of your score, you can use this technique anytime to boost your memory. Simply use your phone to take a photo of something and try to memorize as much as you can. Then set yourself a phone timer for a few minutes, and when the time is done, try and recall as many details as you can and give yourself a score. And as your score starts to improve, and if you keep practicing, it will improve, try increasing your timer to five or 10 minutes, try taking more complex photos, and try remembering more details. And you can use this memory hack anytime to help train your brain and boost your memory. Cheers.